life during his time here. Ash transferred to Columbia University, where he graduated in May 2009, magna cum laude, earning degrees in political science and Middle Eastern studies. He has since returned to the Sacramento area and currently serves as the Placer County Co-Chair and the Lincoln Chair for Carly Fiorina for U.S. Senate. His future plans include law school, preferably Stanford, and a focus on national security law. We are indeed privileged to have Ash with us here this evening, so please join me in welcoming tonight's keynote speaker, Ash Kanj Shasavari. Thank you, and good evening. Um, well, that's my first public speech, and um, it's a great honor to be here. Um, three years ago, I was sitting in one of the chairs up front and waiting anxiously for the speaker to wrap up. So, <laughs> it didn't change two years later at Columbia commencement, so I will be brief uh, with my speech here. At first, um, let me express my deep gratitude to the faculty team at Folsom Lake College for providing me the opportunity to speak here. Um, it's a great honor for me to be here. And um, when I moved from Frankfurt, Germany to Folsom, California, um, no one, least of all myself, would have ever imagined to be here five years later and speaking to you guys. Um, I was just a regular guy moving from Europe to the United States and um, fighting the challenge of um, transitioning into the society. And actually, after a few days of moving to the United States, a friend of ours um, recommended Folsom Lake College to me. And I came um, and just found out that I couldn't register for classes because I was in a hurry to moving here and my immigration paperwork wasn't updated yet in the system. So the um, administration had to receive approval from immigration headquarters, a federal agency. Well, thanks to the great bureaucracy of the federal government, um, 13 months passed since I could, till I could graduate, um, or until I could register for my first semester in spring 2006. During these 13 months, I couldn't um, work or go to school. I um, pretty much was hoping actually a high school would accept me so I could improve my um, English. And, but they told me that with 19 years of age, I was too old, and I already had my high school diploma, so I don't know who wants to go back to high school. <laughs> well, sir, during these 13 months, I was learning um, English from comedy sitcoms like Friends or Fresh Prince of Belair, or <laughs> just reading magazines and, and, and browsing the internet. And um, I was very much ex um, excluded from society since I wasn't part of any workforce or um, school. So when I entered the gates of education in January 2006, I um, promised myself not to take anything for granted anymore. I um, had to wait for 13 months until I could finally register and pursue my dreams at school. And I thank God for the opportunity to provide me um, to register and hope I would never forget um, those tough times in, in a much tougher future. Four semesters later, I transferred from Folsom Lake College to um, Columbia University and uh, it was a big change. Um, as one of very few transfer students over there, um, I saw quickly the importance of Folsom Lake College in my life. Uh, don't get me wrong, nothing was pretty or easy all the time. It was actually, at some, some of the exams I was thinking, maybe Columbia did a mistake in the application process there. But um, two years later, I was sitting at my commencement over there, and as the dean of my department called my name, only then I actually believed that I graduated. And, um, it was a great honor. But actually, Fulton Lake College prepared a young, non-English speaking student like me for much higher tasks. It, um, prepared me to, um, yeah, it prepared me to value education in a different sense. It awakened my love and passion for learning. And um, it taught me important lessons in ethics and moral values. Um, and some of the Fulton Lake College faculty actually spent countless of hours um, going over concepts over and over again until I fully grasped it. So I want to thank you for everybody for that. And I'm sure that every one of you has found at least one professor that has made a difference in their lives here at um, Folsom Lake College. And um, for me it was uh, my, um, my philosophy professor, Tammy Montgomery, um, my history professor, Dr. Gordon Lamb, um, my political science professor, David Rees, and my English professor, Lisa Daner. And last but not least, my psychology professor and mentor, uh, Professor Ken Snell. And um, as you can see, I could name 
professors from all different departments. It doesn't have to be one department, and that shows the great diversity of this um, college. And um, it didn't end just at the classrooms. It um, counselors such as Dr. Hill and um, Chris Clark, and of course my favorite librarian James Tallis. They all went beyond the extra step to, um, you know, prepare me for the challenges in life. And I want to thank you all from my, from my heart. And um, yeah. when I graduated from Folsom A College uh, three years ago, I knew this was not the end point. And um, when I left Columbia University um, two years later, I still didn't think I reached the end point. And in fact, um, there is no end point in life. With each degree or achievement, um, we will just enter a new stage in life. But it is important not to forget where we're coming from and where we got the first steps in, in education. And Folsom Lake College did a fabulous job by preparing us for higher tasks, either going to the workforce or um, going to a four years institution. And um, just I want to um, conclude with just a brief story how my story started. Um, I was born in the midst of the Iran Iraq War uh, at a hospital in Tehran, Iran. And um, in 2 a.m. in the morning uh, on January 6, 1986, and um, bombs were thrown by the Iraqi aircraft and hit the surroundings of the hospitals, uh, hospital where I was born. Only a year later, my family had to flee from Iran during the Iran Iraq War, and um, we, went, we found our way across the mountains from Turkey, Eastern Europe, to um, Germany. And um, that's probably not the best circumstance for me to be here, but um, in the end I am. So, Folsom Lake College provided all of us a stepping stone in the right direction. And um, probably everybody in the audience has their unique story, and that makes this college so unique, um, with all the flags and with everybody in the audience knowing their story the best. And um, it's, it depends on all of us to remember this important moment in our lives and um, allow these, these institutions like Folsom Lake College to prosper and be their stepping stone for others to live and breathe the American dream. Uh, thank you so much, and uh, congratulations for graduating. Ashley, I want to thank you for sharing your words of inspiration and encouragement to our students. And I can speak on behalf of our faculty and staff in the entire college. You do us proud. Your, your accomplishments are, are really great, and we know you're going to be even going on and doing greater things. So congratulations to you, and accept this token. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, I have the distinct honor this evening to present to you the Folsom Lake College class of 2010. But before I do, I'd like to acknowledge and thank the entire Folsom Lake College faculty and staff. Throughout the years of service and all of the daily challenges that you face, you've never wavered or lost sight of the great and rare passion required of professionals in the field of education. The p passion to facilitate a supportive and safe learning environment for our students, an environment that's full of engagement and interaction, that challenges and stretches the minds of our students. You do this not as individuals, but as a community of very resourceful educators and staff.